Today I'm going to be doing a After Effects and Cinema 4D tutorial using the new Cineware that is uh, included in After Effects Creative Cloud. And we're going to create something like this. So let's get to it. I'm going to start in uh, Cinema 4D. And I think we should just start with a plane. We'll do plus C. And then um, if I make it TV dimensions, we can do like six, what it, it's a 16 by nine. So we'll do 160 by 90. And a little small, so double it, which would be 320 by 180. Segments don't really matter, but we'll just do one and one. All right, so there is our screen. We're going to add a compositing tag and an external compositing tag. The compositing tag will enable object buffer one. I'll show you what this all does if you don't know in a little bit. And, um, this we're gonna I'm gonna do uh, solid I like solid it makes it easy and our thing is uh, 320 by 180 so we're gonna come back in here and say the solid is 320 by 180 I'm save it real quick to my desktop Now we need to put a bezel around our TV. So I'm going to use a uh, spline. Get it about the right size. And then we're going to use another spline, same, but um, make it smaller. So, like, we'll start off like that. And then we're going to come get a um, sweep nerb put both of our objects in it and there's our bezel. A little big so we'll come get this on bring it in, bring it in, bring it down. There we go and this one adjusts that. And we'll turn on some rounding. Why not? Looking good. This is quick and easy, quick, fast, just to get the idea down. I'm not going to model a perfect TV. So, where are we? Okay, we need to bring a camera. And we'll start. Let's uh, center it real quick. There's. Center, uh, reset PSR. And slope. There we go. So I'm going to start out here. Keyframe it. Mm, come in a second or so. Keyframe. Jump out a little bit. Rotate. Keyframe. Back here, and then at the end. Woo, fast. Stretch it out a little bit here. So we want it to be about a second, a little over a second coming in. And these out, so I'm gonna uh, get out here and look at my track a little bit. Get 
it's off. We need to move this in. All right, maybe that'll fix our track. Mm -hmm. Not real clear, but we'll use it for the tutorial just so I don't spend forever doing this. Uh, if you were really doing it, you would spend more time. All right, let's put some textures on here. A reflection, add a Fresnel, bring the reflection way down, boom, okay, I'm going to cheat and use Grayscale Girl as light kit, if you don't have it it's awesome, and just to make a quick reflection, I'm going to make it really high, rotate it, and now let's come in and see if we're getting a reflection. Yep, a little small, make it a little higher. Bring it down a little, maybe yeah, that works. Let's try from a few different angles here. Looking good. And then in the, my tutorial, uh, what I did was I just copied it and added another one like over here. It was quite a bit smaller, maybe a little, you know. A little different, and I made it instead of a square. I think I did like a window. We can come in and turn both of these off where you don't see them. Like that. These are a little big. Well, both of them on a move them out a little bit that's why they needs to come down a little maybe alright, there we're getting it kinda you get the point, you move the lights around to look however you want in your reflection. Um, a lot of material to the border or bezel. I don't know, we'll just do a lighter gray reflection. This isn't a uh, material tutorial. Not really getting enough reflection. A lot of for now. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get it the lighting to look a little better on here. We weren't getting much reflection. Still not. What is going on? I guess I have it too low. Yeah, we're starting to get it there. You just gotta play around. With a Fresnel, let's try uh, inverting it. Pulling. There we go. Too much. Maybe we'll invert it back and then bring 
Oops. Bring this up. No, I never can remember how this works. Okay, now we're getting some reflection. Whatever, that's good enough. I'm spending way too much time on that. So, we have our TV made. Mm, I think I might have a gap. Let's see. Uh, I guess I got it. Mm. We'll pull it in a little bit just to make sure we are completely covered. Uh, we're good. So we save it. Do I have everything? I think so. We'll open up After Effects. And we will import that file we just saved. And then drag it into a new composition. And we will uh, change it to draft render. And there's our TV. And we'll turn it on final so we can see our reflections. There we go. So, now if we want to replace the screen with whatever we have here in After Effects, we have to add uh, the camera and the 3D scene data, which is done right here using Extract. There's our uh, plane that we made. So, we're almost there, but we don't want just a red plane. So what I like to do, well, number one, and it's going into our bezel. So we'll duplicate this, bring it up above it, say, um, where is it? Right there, set multi-pass. Oh, there's one thing we forgot. So we need to come back over here, go to our render settings, multi-pass, and add an object buffer one. Save again, come back, set, Set multi pass object buffer. So that just puts white where the screen is showing. So now we can do a uh, luma mat of that and it cuts it off at the bezel. Pretty cool. And um, we want to be able to change the red, so if we pre comp it, we can come in here now and um, put whatever we want. So I'll just do some text. My keyboard's messed up. After Effects tutorial. So, there we go. And, um, I'll animate it just so we can See some movement on the screen. There we go. Come back to our composition. And there's our what we want on the screen. Okay, what else? Let's change the red just so we can differentiate it. We'll add a, a new solid blue. Drop it there. And there we go. We're missing our reflection now, though. 
So we will take this and duplicate it again. Set multi pass. Reflection. Okay. Turn the visibility on. So now we have to add it, change the uh, layer mode to add. And now you can adjust it as you like. But one, more, one little problem here is doubling up that on the uh, bezel, which we might not want there. So you could come and duplicate this, bring it up above, do a lima mat, and then we'll cut it off from the bezel. See there. Oh, we'll add a new solid. We'll make it a uh, orangey color in honor of the gorilla. Ugh, looks terrible. <laughs> but we're just giving you some know how here, not design skills. that should be everything it's it, um, your screen moves like it's actually part of the scene because of our 3d information um, I will uh, do a RAM preview real quick pause it and be back to show you <laughs>